at a meeting in Haddington last year, mm. you suggested that one example of the union dividend was that Scotland's nuclear waste could be dumped in England. Was that a joke? The point I was making that day, and, and uh, I absolutely stand by it, is that there are many benefits for, from Scotland's participation uh, in the United Kingdom. The main benefit is, of course, economic, the economic strength that we get from being part of the UK, uh, an economic strength that would, of course, be taken but was away that particular proposal by the joke? SNP. In relation to nuclear waste, it is quite clear that if there is a solution to the issue of uh, the disposal of nuclear waste, then that solution will be a voluntary one in terms of decision-making at a local level. The nuclear waste disposal will not be imposed on any community in Scotland unless that community volunteers right, but have to you dispose had any of it. Discussions with companies and there are, of, local, and there are local authorities. There are local authorities in the north west of England who are interested in being the location for nuclear waste disposal. So My point that evening was was that uh, with the SNP wishing Scotland to be separate from the rest of the United Kingdom, for a party that has campaigned for years against the dumping of nuclear waste in Scotland to then advocate a policy right. that would lead to the dumping of nuclear waste in Scotland was a ludicrous and inconsistent position. Have you had any discussions position. with any companies or authorities in England about taking Scotland's nuclear waste? Well, the position across the whole of the UK is that there, in my no, view, you should, there should be... Well, let me finish. There should be uh, one, one location for the disposal of nuclear waste. It is likely that that location will be in an area in... England because there are authorities in England that are willing to look at that possibility. It's not a case of dumping it on them, but it is a case that there's an inconsistency in a nationalist party that for years campaigns against the dumping of nuclear waste in Scotland and then advocates a policy that would lead to Scotland retaining its nuclear waste and okay. it being disposed of in Scotland. Now we now have it's that sort of inconsistency that makes them unfit to govern um, because they say one thing one month okay. and do something different the next. Now, we now have 145 British military personnel killed in Iraq. Do you still believe Britain was right to join the invasion? Oh, I, I think it was right to get rid of Saddam Hussein. I believe that. And you've got no doubts about that whatsoever? No, I believe it was right to get rid of Saddam Hussein. I, uh, as I said at the time, I knew Iraqi students more than 25 years ago who had come to this country to get away from Saddam Hussein and his regime. I kept in touch with them over the years. I knew the horrors that were going on, not in that, just in that country, but that he, was, he had the potential to carry out elsewhere. And I think he was a dangerous leader, okay. and it was right uh, for the international community to remove him. Do, do you think the government in London was right to amalgamate the Scottish regiments while the war in Iraq was going on? Well, I, I would have preferred to see the individual identities, as I said at the time, of the uh, historic regiments uh, kept in some form, even if, even if that was within a new joint regiment. Uh, but a decision was made, the decision has been implemented, and I think those involved in the army now want to move on, and I think they're right to do so. Why do you think building a new generation of nuclear weapons is a good idea? Well, I think it's entirely right that we don't rule out that possibility right now in Scotland, there are, there are those who would wish to do so and would want us to unilaterally disarm in that way. Uh, I don't think that's the right course of action at this particular moment, given the tensions that are around the world and also the uh, dangers that there could be from new nuclear weapon states. Right, but you also said at the time this debate came up last year that you welcome the fact that there will be a further decision to make on the future of the warheads themselves by mm. Parliament in London. Um, you would vote for them, presumably, from what you've just said? Well, I would make a decision at that time based on the international circumstances and any negotiations that had or had not taken place. And so, I think, so, I think so, at this so particular you moment... you are not unequivocally in favour of replacing Britain's nuclear defence? Well, I'm not in favour of nuclear weapons, per se. I don't think anybody should No, be. but you're not uh, but, I, but, I, but I do believe that Britain's nuclear deterrent has acted as a deterrent. I do believe that any reduction in that deterrent... <coughs> It can be achieved, as the British government have achieved, by making our own decision. But any abolition of that deterrent, any removal of that deterrent entirely from the UK, should be part of multilateral negotiations. Now, you keep saying, as does Tony Blair, that people should not use this election as a way to punish the Labour government in London. In fact, you referred to that yourself earlier mm. on. Why shouldn't they? 
Well, because there, there are consequences to the decision. And yeah, but let's, if this was a parliamentary... People who think that the, the war in Iraq is very, very important and they want to register their voice against it, why shouldn't they punish you as part of the same party as Tony Blair? Well, they have a right to do that, but I'm asking them to look at the consequences of that decision in advance of taking it. And the reality is that the vote next Thursday in Scotland will elect the next government of Scotland. And that government can build on the progress that we've achieved. We've seen today, for example, the CBI industrial trends show a 40-year high in the confidence of manufacturing exporters. The Scottish economy is strong and getting stronger. I believe we can build upon right. that over these next four years. And I do not believe that in Scotland we should elect a government that would take us backwards with the SNP. And I think that in Scotland, while voters may have criticisms either of the Labour-led government in Holyrood or of the Labour government at Westminster, I think voters next Thursday should think very carefully about the consequences of their decision. They are choosing a government for Scotland for the next four years. But if it's that a... government can be constructive or it can be destructive. It can be positive or it can be negative. It can put opportunity first right. or it can right. impose okay. a cost on Scotland. But if it's OK for you to go on about the union dividend and suggest people vote for that, why isn't it reasonable for people to vote for Scotland to have nothing to do with the war in Iraq or not to have new Trident missiles in Scotland? Well, because this is an election for the Government of Scotland, and there are two alternatives in this election. The first alternative, the SNP, who certainly until the beginning of the campaign were apparently leading in opinion polls, would impose a very direct and immediate cost, not just on individual families in Scotland, but on the Scottish economy. Their plan for a referendum would, I believe, cause paralysis in the Scottish economy, a, a lot of decline in investment. Fine, I, sorry, compared to stopping be, nuclear weapons and the war in Iraq, that is as nothing. Well, I, I think the hard-working families of Scotland want to see a government in Scotland that's working for them and making the right decisions for them. And I believe our plans to build up the Scottish economy, to help pensioners with a, an abolition of water and sewage charges, but critically to invest in education and skills, are the right plans for the future of the Scottish economy. And I think the comparison between them and the SNP's plans, which would take Scot Scotland backwards, is exactly why across Scotland opinion is shifting right. and people are looking at the consequences of next week's vote and deciding instead to move Scotland forward. Do you us. think that the party which emerges with the largest number of seats should form the next government? Well, I suspect I know where you're heading with this, and I want to be very clear that I am working flat out at the moment to ensure that I we are the party, to be the party with the largest but, but, number of seats. That's not, that's not the question I'm asking you. And I fully believe that we will, that we will be so. I'm sure you do, but do you th that's not, I'll ask you the question again. Do you think the party which emerges with the largest number of seats should be in the government? Well, obviously, I want to be both a party with the largest seats and the no, party no, you want to be. that I'm, is in I'm, government. I'm asking you as a, as a matter of, if you like, uh, sort of parliamentary um, 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 possibilities and, and, and what you think is right and proper. Is it right and proper that the party which emerges as the largest party should be in the government? No, I was in Stirling, Alloa, Falkirk, Dunfermline and Kirk and Tillich today and in not one of those five areas did anybody say to me, can we discuss the parliamentary arithmetic? They wanted to discuss education policy, drugs policy. I'm, I'm not asking you to discuss parliamentary to discuss arithmetic. The I'm simply they asking you to, to say, as a matter of principle, jobs should the, the party economy. which emerges as the largest party be in the government? Well, Gordon, I am campaigning to be the largest party. No, I know you're doing that. You've I'm said campaigning that. To lead That's the government. not what I'm asking. I'm asking you, should the and party... And obviously I want to be both. Yes, but should the party which emerges as the largest party be in the government? Well, I think the position is, nine days out from an election, that I'm campaigning to be the largest party and to lead the government in Scotland again. What, what, what and I think that is a, a perfectly clear position. And the reason I'm doing that is because it is the policies that we will implement that will matter. And the parliamentary arithmetic is I'm not part of that debate that takes place afterwards. But the policies right, so, so it, are what matters. The policies are what matters. But I'm in not asking about parliamentary campaign. And when people are voting to make their